great two-plane drill is the two-plane release drill because it teaches you what the hands, arms, and club do during the most critical part of a two-plane swing, which is impact. It's very different than a one-plane swing. A one-plane swing, the arms are more around the body and the swing is dramatically end-to-end. A two-plane swing isn't as much end to end for two reasons. One, it's more upright, and number two, because your arms are in front of your body throughout the swing rather than moving from one side to the other side. Now there's actually two ways to do it. Both of them are used by some of the greatest players in the world. I'm going to show you both ways and you're going to figure out which one works best for you. Now because the arms stay pretty much right in front of the body, not around the body, but in front of the body as a two-planer, the club isn't coming from as much end-to-end -end as a one-plane golf swing. It's coming from just barely inside your target line to back barely inside your target line. So it's on a slight arc, not a severe arc. Now with the arms in front of me as I come down, the club face is 90 degrees open when it comes down into the hitting area. The toe is usually pointed up into the air. Now our challenge is to bring this golf club that 90 degrees back to square and then 90 degrees the other direction, only slightly coming from inside to inside while that happens. Now as I had said, there's two ways to do it. One of them is forearm rotation give you an idea who would use forearm rotation. Tom Watson used forearm rotation. Phil Mickelson uses forearm rotation. In the forearm rotation two-plane release drill, the right arm rotates over the top of the left arm. It's right straight over the top, which brings the from toe up to square to toe up again, letting the right arm rotate right on over. The left arm at the same time does somewhat of its rotation as well. It isn't a tremendous amount of rotation, but there's enough rotation to keep the right arm from going underneath and to let the right arm come on top. Now the second way to do it is the way you've often seen VJ Singh or Fred Couples do it. And that's when they go from toe up, instead of the right arm rotating on top, the right arm actually slaps around the front of the left arm. I call that the hinge slap release. So here I am, toe up. I'm going to let the left wrist hinge and the right hand slap around the front and it comes to toe up again. Now the hinge slap is a very powerful release, not always terribly accurate. The forearm rotation is a fairly powerful release, not quite as powerful as the hinge slap, but it's more accurate. One of them is going to fit your game. Now just practice this drill where you come down, arms in front of you, toe up. Now, toe up over here, toe up over here, toe up again, right there. Now I did all of those with the rotation drill. Here would be three with the slap drill. Toe up, toe up right over there. And each time I'm checking to see if it's toe up. One of them is going to be more effective for you than the other one. 